Hi! Today we're gonna be spilling the hooded eye tea. Let's pretend I didn't say that right there. If you guys don't know me, my name is Taylor Leos. Now you know me. And today I'm gonna tell you guys how I got rid of my hooded eyes without surgery. Before we get into that, I do wanna say that just because I got rid of my hooded eyes does not mean that it's something that you need to get rid of. Hooded eyes are beautiful, non-hooded eyes are beautiful, and I'm just gonna explain why I wanted a different eye shape, I guess. By the way, if you guys are following along with my little pink hair journey, this is my hair after three washes, and as you can see, it's kind of like purple now. I really like how it's fading out, so yeah. <laughs> if you guys don't know, hooded eyes is where you have flap of skin on your eyelid that covers up your eyelid space. Having hooded eyes can make it a little bit more difficult to do makeup. In some cases, it can even impair people's vision, but that's like aggressively hooded eyes, you know. An example of someone who has hooded eyes would be Blake Lively. So obviously, if Blake Lively has hooded eyes, then they can't be a bad thing, right? <laughs> when I was growing up, I had super hooded eyes and I had deep set eyes, so it was like a double whammy combo. My mom had the biggest eyes ever. Her eyes were so round and blue and big. So that was my epitome of beauty. I wanted to look like my mom. I wanted to have her big eyes. So I didn't want my hooded eyes. Now, before we get into the different things that I did to give myself less hooded eyes, I don't think this is going to be some revolutionary video. I don't even know if it'll work for you, so I'm just gonna disclaim that now. So when I was in middle school, I got braces from the same orthodontist that my father went to. I'll say that again. The same orthodontist that my father went to. You could probably conclude from that information that he was so old and he was using really old techniques. The man gave me headgear, but that's a different story. Oh, so he gave me braces and the braces that he gave me were oversized for my teeth and they also had nickel in them, which was old fashioned. Modern braces places don't put nickel in them because a lot of people have a nickel allergy and I was one of them. My gums puffed up and a lot of my face was really puffy during those years. Now I'm wondering if I was so allergic that it caused my whole face to puff up because you'll see in these pictures, my face was oh, puffy. Because of that, part of my eyelid would puff up and make my hooded eyes even more so I would definitely try to make sure that there's nothing that you're allergic to that you are around a lot or you know on your teeth in my case because that can really affect the puffiness in your face before I get into the physical things that I did to get rid of my hooded eyes, I do want to talk a little bit about the mental aspects. And you guys, honestly, I might lose some of you here, but you guys should definitely look into the law of attraction. It's quite amazing what our human mind can do, you know, the power of manifestation as well. I have looked up, can you change your facial features with the power of manifestation? And a lot of people argue that you can. Just the power of your thoughts, being positive, you know, changing the things you want can affect your physical appearance and your mental mindset. So all those are really important. Honestly, I don't want to get too much into that topic because I might sound like a hippie or something. I don't really know. But I definitely think that I started doing that at that age without really knowing it. So when I was in middle school, I started raising my eyebrows. But over time, I started to do this technique, I guess, where I lift the sides of my eyebrows, these muscles, not the middle of my forehead, and pull my ears back. Tyra Banks actually revealed that if you pull your ears back, it gives your face an instant facelift. So that's a thing that some people can do. I don't think everyone can do that. But yeah, I literally started raising my eyebrows a lot. And when I would do that, my hood would be less prominent. I did it so much that it became subconscious and I don't even think about it anymore. I'm basically constantly raising my eyebrows on the sides. When I fully relax my forehead now, basically my entire eye shape changes. So it's pretty crazy, let me show you guys. So this is my face, normal, my normal now, I guess. And now let's try to relax my forehead fully. I have to like, oh, sweetie. I look so angry. So I think this is what my like natural eye shape is. This feels incredibly wrong right now. I need to just lift them back up. Yeah, I can change my entire eye shape just like that. 
after that big ol' reveal there, some of you guys might be saying, this is this such is a pointless, pointless video. video. That's, That's obvious. obvious. I beat you to it, so you can't even comment that now. There was actually a TikTok trend where a bunch of people that raised their eyebrows as well showed what happens to their face when they stop raising them. So I think this is a thing that people do. Yeah, I basically always just have my eyebrows raised. I don't think about it. I don't get headaches or anything. It's just my face now. It's just the way that it is. Now it looks like I just have deep set eyes. I really don't think it's harmful to raise your eyebrows using these muscles on the sides and not the middle. I don't know if I can even explain that, but like, I really do wish that I remember how long it took me to get used to it. It was so long ago and it really happened gradually over time. So again, I don't know if it was me constantly raising my eyebrows or that law of manifestation slash law of attraction or what it was, but all I know is I'm a lot happier with it now. I don't look angry, my eyes look more open. So I personally prefer the way that my eyes look now. If you have hooded eyes, you could always try this technique out. Obviously, I am not raising my eyebrows to the point where I'm getting forehead wrinkles. Yeah, don't do this. You're just gonna look crazy if you do this. But yeah, it's just a nice lift. It gives me so much more eyelid space so that I can actually, you know, do eyeshadow looks and stuff. I still don't have enough eyelid space to do a wing all the way across my eye. I just do it on the corner. So I still have tiny little eyelids and I think that's just because I have really deep set eyes like Emma Watson. She has really deep set eyes as well. So that's just what I have to do. Another thing that really helped out with you know, kind of changing my eye shape and making my eyes appear bigger and more open was getting long eyelashes. So as you could see when I zoomed in, I've got some long lashes on me. Basically, I used to have really, really short eyelashes and I got a lash growth serum that helped me grow out my eyelashes and I've been using that since 2015 and I swear it contributed to my glow up so much. Having like eyelashes that open your eyes can make your eye look so much prettier and bigger and I'm not saying that it's a necessity at all by any means but if you're ever looking for a way to enhance your eye you should definitely check it out. The brand that I always have used is Grande Lash but I think a lot of those lash growth serums anyway use the same active ingredient so just do your research on your favorite one. I think Grande Lash is reasonably priced. If you go to like Latisse or anything like that, you're going to be looking at like a couple hundred dollars. But Grande Lash is like 67 last time I checked. So not that bad. And for me, it lasts like six months for a bottle. So it's totally worth it for me. And it's way better for you than eyelash extensions because eyelash extensions will make your eyelashes fall out over time. And there's so much money. Little disclaimer as well, Grande Lash does cause an allergic reaction in some people. My mom, it made her eyes puff up and my friend Courtney, it darkened her lash line, but that went away after she stopped using it. So yeah, I have absolutely zero side effects from it. I love it and just be prepared that you could have an adverse reaction to it. So just make sure that you have someone else you can pass it on to or something, who knows. My brother has hooded eyes, so I'm gonna bring him in here and have him do my little tricks. Minus the whole taking a month to grow out your eyelashes. And we'll see if it works on him. This is Steve, my brother. What's up? Wow, you look pasty. So I'm gonna have him do the hooded eyes trick. So now, this is Stevie. Is this your eyes only? Are you raising anything? Let your eyes go. Try to like relax your forehead all the way. Okay, so you have hooded eyes. Now raise the middle of your forehead. Now just raise the sides. Did it do anything? <laughs> You look like a psychopath. <laughs> You're just staring at the camera. Okay, raise him slightly then. I see your ears pull back. <laughs> I mean, I can't just like hold it like that. Okay, alright, well, thank you. So, yeah, that is pretty much how I got rid of my hooded eyes with no surgery. Comment below your thoughts. Like, let me know if you guys know someone who does this or if you're going to try this out. If you made it all the way to the end, comment lilac. And then I'll know that you're a real one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.
Thank you.